Hey everyone, how are we doing today? This is James Sweeney, aka Split Suit, and welcome back to another video. And as part of the Ask Split Suit a Question series, a bunch of people ask hand history questions, and today's question comes from Moish, and Moish just wants to review this hand play with Jax in a home game. So let's check it out. Okay, so in this home game, the blinds are 25 cent, 50 cent, there's a limp, hero size to attack, and I like that we're attacking, but as usual, I'm going to complain about the bet size. I know I'm always complaining about that, but I really would like to go a little bit larger here. First, you see there's a station in the small blind, definitely a spot where you want to go larger with your big hands. Second, someone just decides to open limp under the gun, doesn't scream good player, we have position in a good hand, definitely want to go larger, so just go larger, right? Something like three, four, maybe even five bucks, depends on how the game's playing, is going to be significantly better than just going to two and probably creating a very multi-way pot. And that's actually exactly what happens. End up getting a bunch of callers, go four way to it, go here, check, 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 here decides to bet. And because C3 is probably bad, because the station is almost certainly bad, I'm totally fine just betting here. We'll go forward from there. End up getting called, fold, fold, and here we go to the turn. Turn is a four, check, here are bets, and the station decides to check raise. So in the write-up, Moish says this. Moish says, The villain is a calling station who tends to bet big when he has a monster. Otherwise, he will often call down with a second-best hand. I tend to be an aggressive player. Other players feel that they can never put me on specific cards. So first and foremost, thank you very much for all the extra information. That actually helps quite a bit when it comes to talking about a more specific situation. So secondly, I love the fact that you bet the turn. I think there's plenty of second best hands that can and will call. Obviously, the station, because their station, can call with things like 10x, 6x, backdoor heart, that sort of thing. Yes, they're going to continue with ace x. Yes, they're going to continue if they have made flushes and two pairs and all that kind of stuff. But it's going to be pretty easy to sniff out when that happens. Which brings me to point three. So you said that this person tends to call down with second best, tends to get aggressive with big hands, like when they think they have monsters, and they tend to bet big when they have those monsters. I'd say the station is telling you right this moment that you are behind, probably very far behind, probably to a made flush, maybe something like two pair or something like that. But more often, I think you're going to be looking at things like flushes and stuff like that. So this is the kind of situation where you have to really make a decision. Now you're only getting a little bit better than two to one. If you look at all of your hearts as live outs, plus your jack is a live out, and if you really think you only has flushes here, then your jack is not a live out, you're not doing well enough in order to call here. And there's not really enough back to justify going for implied odds on the river. So this is a situation where if you truly believe the read that you've stated thus far, you kind of have to find the full button here. Right now, the thing is, you could say, well, this person could have a lot of baby flushes, and if a heart fills up on the river, then all of a sudden I'm good a large chunk of the time. Okay, maybe that's true, but are you really going to get ultra paid when there's four hearts on board and the station is sitting there with some weak flush? Mm, I don't think so. So again, your implied odds are getting lower and lower by the moment. So this is a situation where I like the the line so far. Other than the preflop bet sizing, I like the fact that we attacked. I like the fact that we bet the flop. I like the fact that we bet the turn against this specific opponent. I just think that once they tell you this, it's time for you to really, really listen and probably find that full button rather than call. And then what's your plan, right? There's only what, 40 bucks roughly going back into the river. If it spades off, are you still going to call if he shoves? If it hearts, are you still going to call if he shoves? I mean, you're in a situation now where you really have to think that step ahead and you have to be planning. I really don't like this call unless you have a different read. Just based upon the read that you've given me so far, I would say eh, probably time to just bet fold and turn rather than bet call and then probably end up getting sticky on a lot of rivers. But the hand isn't totally over yet. So here decides the call heart on the river and notice it's a very interesting heart and then the station decides to check so here decides to go for the jam at this point and i am very very happy with this right i think if the station had nut hearts they would have just jammed it in on the river so i think that check implies baby hearts or you know possible bluff but more often than not maybe ace x maybe two pair maybe baby hearts but it's really never the nuts so i like the fact that hero identified that and said okay well if he doesn't have the nuts then my hand must be the nuts so rock and roll let's go for the value shove so i really really like this adjustment as played now this is a very very specific river card not one that we're going to get 100 percent of the time by any stretch but i like the fact that we adjust it properly in real time 
Now, as played, we end up getting called, and we get called by those baby hearts. And again, I'm not shocked to see this. And a station can show up with really, really garbage heart hands, right? It's not like a good player is going to have a very small amount of them when they decide to check raise the turn. A station can have a massive plethora of heart kind of hands, just given the way that they tend to call prefob. So again, I'm not really in love with the turn line, given the exact read. Given the way it all rolled out, I really like Hero's line, but I'm thinking that the turn is probably a little optimistic mystic given the read that you gave i think the station told you that they had a flush and you probably got a little bit stickier in a spot where you probably shouldn't have that being said it worked out this time but i think in the future you want to be a little bit more cautious and hesitant when someone's telling you that they have you beat so moish thanks for the great hand and if you or anyone else has a poker related hand or question feel free to send it to me directly at splitsuit.com send and if you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to let me know otherwise i'll see you back next week with a brand new video and in the meantime good luck out there and happy grinding.